Are you living in some boggy conditions? Because I got 11 trivia questions for you on swamps, written by listener Ian Schultze. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thank you so much for checking out the show, and thank you for telling a friend about the show. That is the easiest way to get this show to grow, is to just tell somebody that you know that loves trivia and pub quiz nights and pop culture to check out the Trivia with Buds podcast. Thank you so much for doing that in advance. Today is a very swampy kind of day around California. There are very hazy skies. It's 104 degrees, and it is just all around hot and wet and kind of gross, kind of like a swamp, which is perfect for today's theme. My friend Ian Schultz sent me an email. He said, hey, I wrote these for you a few months back in May, and just reminding you that you have them in your back pocket. And I said, Ian, I'm going to record those questions right now. It is uh, crazy out here in Fontana, California. I took a picture of the end of my block where you can usually see this amazing foothill kind of mountain view. And because it was so hazy and smoggy and hot today, it looked like someone just erased the mountains. There's nothing there at the end of the block. I posted a comparison on Facebook. If you want to go to my wall, just go to facebook.com slash Ryan Buds and look for those crazy pictures. Uh, it was astonishing to see it looked like someone just erased them or moved the set in my Truman Show type life. All right, guys, we're going to jump into some swamp related trivia from Ian right about now. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Swamp Trivia. Let's see how much you know about Swamp-related things. Here comes question number one. The comic strip Pogo by Walt Kelly was set in what real-life swamp located on the Georgia-Florida border? Number one, the comic strip Pogo by Walt Kelly was set in what real-life swamp located on the Georgia-Florida border? Number one. Question number two, in the epic poem Beowulf, what character and his mother both live in a swamp or marsh? Number two, in the epic poem Beowulf, what character and his mother both live in a swamp or marsh? Number two. And here comes number three for Swamp Things. And this one makes perfect sense for that because it's about Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is a superhero based in what comic book company's universe? What comic book company created Swamp Thing. Number three. Question number four. In The Princess Bride, Wesley and Buttercup encounter what creatures with a four-word name when crossing the fire swamp? Number four. What do they encounter when they cross the fire swamp in The Princess Bride? Number four. Question number five, the water of a swamp may be freshwater, seawater, or what third type, which is saltier than freshwater, but not as salty as seawater? Number five, what is that third type of water? Number five. Question number six, swamps have been found on all the continents with one exception. What is the only continent not to have a swamp? Number six, what is the only continent to not have a swamp? And number seven, Real Foot Lake, which is mostly swamp in western Tennessee and Kentucky, was created in 1811 and 1812 by what type of natural disaster? What type of natural disaster created Real Foot Lake in 1811 and 12? Question number eight, swamps in the southeastern U.S. are often called by what other term? Number eight, swamps in the southeastern U.S. are often called by what other term? And question number nine, cypress swamps can be found throughout what national park that covers a large part of the southern tip of Florida? Cypress swamps can be found in what national park in Florida? Number nine. Two questions left to go. Here's number 10. In folklore, what is the name of an atmospheric ghost light seen by travelers at night, especially over bogs, swamps, and marshes? What is the name of that atmospheric ghost light Travelers see at night, especially over bogs, swamps, and marshes. 
And number 11, your two-point bonus question, Swamp is a song by what band on their album Speaking in Tongues? Number 11, Swamp is a song by what band on their album Speaking in Tongues? I am done speaking in Swamp-related tongues for now. We are going to be back in just a second with those Swampy answers. All right, guys, here we go with great questions from Ian Schultze. Ian, thanks so much for sending these my way. Here comes question number one and the answer. The comic strip Pogo by Walt Kelly was set in what real-life swamp located on the Georgia-Florida border? That was the Okafinoki Swamp. The Okafinoki Swamp, number one. Number two, in the epic poem Beowulf, what character and his mother both live in a swamp or marsh? That is Grendel. Remember Grendel? My wife Ashley hated reading Beowulf in a British literature class in college. I didn't mind it so much. Uh, The movie's not so great. Uh, But, you know, that's how those animated movies go sometimes. Number three, Swamp Thing is a superhero based in what comic book company's universe? That's DC. DC owns Swamp Thing. I actually have a collection of Swamp Thing comics right here to give away as a prize on my nightly live stream. You should play with me on Facebook every night, 7 p.m. Pacific, and meet some new trivia-loving friends. It's a great time. Number four, in The Princess Bride, Wesley and Buttercup encounter what creatures with a four-word name when crossing the fire swamps? That is uh, Rodents of Unusual Size, R-O-U-S, Rodents of unusual size. Number five, the water of a swamp may be freshwater, seawater, or brackish water. Brackish water. Saltier than freshwater, but not as salty as seawater. Number six, swamps have been found on all the continents except Antarctica. Number six, Antarctica. No swamps there. Number seven, Real Foot Lake, which is mostly swamp in western Tennessee and Kentucky, was created in 1811 and 12 by a natural disaster known as an earthquake. Number seven, earthquake. Number eight, swamps in the southeast U.S. are often called bayou or bayous. Number eight, bayous. Number nine, cypress swamps can be found throughout what national park that covers a large part of the southern tip of Florida? A lot of Florida-related swamp questions, of course. Everglades National Park. Everglades National Park. I've been down there. You can see gators all the time. And number 10, in folklore, what is the name of an atmospheric ghost light seen by travelers at night, especially over bogs, swamps, and marshes? That's will-o'-the-wisp. Will-o'-the-wisp. That's W-I-L-L dash O apostrophe dash the wisp. (laughs) Willow the wisp. And number 11, Swamp is a song by what band on their album Speaking in Tongues? That would be the Talking Heads. The Talking Heads. I hope you had fun listening to my talking head on this little quiz about swamps from Ian Schultze. Thanks again, Ian. We have one more thing for you called the fact of the day. And that fact is in order to legally give someone a tattoo in South Korea, one must obtain a doctor's license. So if you're traveling, you happen to be in South Korea, you want a tattoo, make sure the guy or gal has a doctor's license or else they are phony. Can't do it without that. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about the podcast. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.